And this is a Fox News alert. Many thanks to my friends on the five. Welcome to Hannity. Another major breaking news night tonight. Herman Cain, Corey Lewandowski, Jay Sekulow, Matt Schlapp, Geraldo Rivera, Lou Dobbs, Ainsley Earhart are all here with reaction and later tonight. you tonight. We'll have much more on the passing of Roger Ailes coming up later in the show. But first, it is time to fight back against the five powerful forces that are now aligning to destroy President Donald Trump. Sitting back and doing nothing is no longer an option. Tonight, a call to arms, our opening monologue. All right, we've been explaining to you, the American people, what is now happening in our nation's capital in this massive effort to utterly destroy President Trump and throw him out of office. It is a plot to subvert the will of you, the American people, and undermine the very foundation of this republic. And it is unlike anything we have ever seen before in American history. Earlier today, at a news conference, President Trump, he addressed these unprecedented attacks. Watch. I respect the move, but the entire thing has been a witch hunt, and uh, there is no collusion between certainly myself and my campaign, but I can always speak for myself and the Russians, zero. Uh, I think it divides the country. I think we have uh, a very divided country because of that and many other things. Months of coverage, zero evidence. The president's right. For example, let's look at all these Obama administration scandals. No special counsels. Benghazi, the IRS targeting conservatives, the General Services Administration, their spending scandal, Fast and Furious, Hillary Clinton's private email server, we know felonies were committed there, the Clinton Foundation, the pay-to-play scheme, remember Uranium One, 20% going to Vladimir Putin in Russia, Bo Bergdahl, the Iranian prisoner swap, the VA scandal, Loretta Lynch, Bill Clinton on the tarmac, that meeting, surveillance rules changes, James Rosen, and journalists hacked. Solyndra, the Secret Service prostitution scandal, unaccompanied minors entering the U.S., Hurricane Sandy funds, healthcare.gov contracts. The threat against President Trump now is real. It is metastasizing into a clear and present danger. It's only going to get worse. Now, we're learning tonight that the DNC is now pumping money into what is being called, quote, the resistance summer. It's the left's plan to attack and obstruct the president at every turn. So, it's time for you, the American people, you irredeemable deplorables that went out and went to the rallies and voted for him. Time for you to stand up for what you wanted and what you voted for in November. As you heard me say, this is a choice election. Now, everything that you have voted for is under attack. You voted for the economy, you voted for millions of new jobs, you want people out of poverty, off of food stamps, and back in the labor force. You wanted lower taxes, you wanted tax reform. You voted to repeal and replace Obamacare. That process is now underway. You voted for a much stronger military, for a president that can actually say the words radical Islamic terrorism and defeating ISIS. You voted for energy independence. You voted for more control of education to be sent back to the states. You voted to cut government regulations and jobs. And most importantly, you voted to drain the swamp and upend the power structure in Washington, D.C.